a lot of her trips oh, yeah. <laughs> and things of that nature. But um, he's a professional for a reason, so I saw it today. <laughs> yeah, the man knows what he's doing. So what are you going to do from here now? Because you're in Monte Carlo. It's yeah. beautiful. It's amazing. It's lovely. It's glamorous. Now what do you do? Go play some more poker. <laughs> oh, you're a sicko. You're a sicko. You're just like the rest of us. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Just like the rest of them. I fit right in. Uh, well, well done. Sorry you didn't make it. Such That's a shame. Okay. I'll be back. Another star knocked out, but plenty still left in. That's right, you guys all live with your mom and it's always, always. Raymer and Pagano are soaking up the charity atmosphere, while TV presenter Kirsty Gallagher is getting some coaching from poker pro Humberto Brenners. Peter Eastgate's pre flop raise has given her a decision to make, and Humberto Brenners is helping her to make it. Well, Eastgate's looking comfortable. With his ace nine. So what do you So she's all in with ace king against Eastgate's ace nine. Who's the king? But check out the flop. Well, this could be interesting. Aha. And the four there completes the straight, so it's a split pot. The Costa Rican there, showing how he deals with that. It's getting late here in Monte Carlo, and 24 remain, including Sebastian Chabal, Daniel Negreanu, John Duffy, Mike Tyndall, and Luca Pagano. But Vanessa Russo, Victor Ramden, an Italian gymnast and Olympic gold medalist Igor Casina are all out. And then there were 24, that's three tables of eight, and a new featured table for our TV viewing pleasure. Talk us through some of these characters, David. Well, there's Kid Poker, Daniel Negreanu, who joins the TV table once again. And uh, there's, there's Kara Scott, our presenter, who's actually not playing, but she's giving advice to Kirsty Gallagher. She's pretty mob-handed, Kirsty, in terms of advisors. When you're as pretty as that, Easy to, to get advisors. I don't even know what you're telling her to do. <laughs> Whatever you told her to do, you should do it. And there's Negreanu uh, giving his hey pen earth as well. Thing? Well, Kara Scott is quite a poker player in her own right. Is she? She really is. It's completely up to you, though. It's, it's kind of an all or nothing. Okay. But at this point... Let's just to question this. Do you feel like you have more knowledge than she does? I would be. I would be quickly. All right, Kirstie's going to raise so all in. All in. Kirstie and Kara are going to raise all in. <laughs> I would have done that really Kara. quickly, Kara. If, that, if that makes any difference. Well, Kara convinced Kirsty to go all in, and uh, she's not going to like what she sees. I, yeah. but I have something really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you live with aces? He swears you lived with kings. Yeah. It's all right, because you were going to hit your ace. There you go. <laughs> all you need is an ace. Me. Daniel. Daniel. Eight of hearts. Was it the right That's thing, right thing to do? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Yeah, for sure. Even I knew you had to go Well, 29%, that's no write-off, is it? No, definitely not a write-off at all. I mean, she's got three aces here she can catch. She can also catch, you know, four hearts or four clubs. There's an eight. One more eight will do the trick. Oh, now she can catch an eight and ace. Ace and eight. Come on. Daniel's in the lead with kings. Let's see the turn card. Come on. Ace and eight. Come on. Eight. Six of spades. Ace of spades. And to 11. Even Negrano is rooting for the eight. An eight or an ace. Oh. Well, nine of spades is not an eight or an ace. Yeah. And that's it for Kirsty Gallagher. That's it. Well, that was a gutsy exit. It's all gone. It was gutsy, wasn't it? I told you to throw that hand away. Sorry. That's all right. Don't feel bad. You did the right thing. You know it. I know, but they're not my chips, so it's easier to, you know, feel a little guilty. He's proving himself a gentleman at the bays, Negroni, as well as a demon. Yeah, he's a ladies' man, always. And unfortunately for everybody watching, Kirsty Gallagher is no longer playing. Welcome back to Monte Carlo, where 18 players remain in a poker tournament with a conscience. This is PokerStars.net Anti Up for Africa. The proceeds go to help with the Darfur crisis. Just before the break, TV's Kirsty Gallagher came to the end of her first ever poker journey. She had plenty of help along the way from the world's poker elite. 
and me. <laughs> Something will go wrong for me. Okay. I know it. At the feature table, things did indeed go wrong. Oh, oh. nine of spades. Oh. I'm sorry. Greg Raymer caught up with us for a post-mortem. What happened, ladies? I think maybe Kara should speak here, but, um, well, we, we did well. We did well. We did very well. Yeah, we, we were coming back. We didn't have that many chips, and the blinds were going up really yeah. quite fast. Yeah. We only had about five big blinds left. So we had to do it, didn't we? We had did. to do all, all in. We had to go all in. We is, that, is that the right lingo? Completely. Exactly. Good. When you're that short, I definitely agree. All in or fold. <laughs> Absolutely. Every hand. All in. Yeah, and Daniel Negreanu oh, yeah. sneakily limps under the gun, right? But we've got ace eight anyway, so we're going to shove. We've only got five big blinds. And of course, he has kings. I know. We it didn't was hit. such a shame. Yeah. And this has happened three times to me tonight not not that I've obviously lost but I've I've have I split it you split one pot split when we were ahead yeah and would have had a lot of chips and then once you had jacks against kings yeah before I came so, in uh, so you were getting bad beat in addition yeah. to everything else yeah absolutely and I'm very I'm a real novice as you know um, this is my first time playing and so I did I think I did okay very uh, sort of Definitely. very grateful to Kara who's helped me this evening <laughs> So Kirsty leaves the TV table and some new faces replacing her. There's Joe Hashem there on the left. Sebastian Chabal. Yeah, Chabal rejoins the uh, TV table. Seabass, Caveman. Anyway, cut it. That is a big man. Joseph Hashem won the World Series of Poker main event back in 2005. That's Joel Madden. With the tattoos? Yes, he's a, he's a singer, isn't he? A singer with good Charlotte, I believe. Against him in a fight. This is true. So you have to pick me and Peter, at least. Me, Peter, and him, and at least one of the two. Let's fold it around the Pepe. And there is Pepe Reina, the uh, <laughs> Liverpool goalkeeper. A fine-dressed man. A hand to match. That's Tony G, by the way. He is a, a loud, loud man, professional poker player. Oh, that's a big raise. Well, not that big, actually, because we're playing six and twelve. And kid poker, Dan Legrano picks up pocket kings again. Almost unfair. I was just thinking, he's a, he's a magnet for these good hands, isn't he? I'll tell you what, I don't even want to look. I'm going to check. Yeah, me too. Huh? I'm just going to check. Don't let intimidate you. Just push it all in. It's a tough spot for Reyna. He's got a, a really great hand, and it's a really, really bad flop for him. He's got the overpair, and there's no reason for him not to think he doesn't have the best hands. And he's gone all in. Unfettered excitement from the Englishman. And uh, it's a tough spot for Reyna here. He, he, he really did the right thing, even though he's way, way behind. Danny's got the king of diamonds, king of clubs. Pepe has the jack of spades, jack of clubs. And now only the river can help Reyna. Needs a jack, and only a jack, or he'll be eliminated. But not a jack of diamonds. Actually, the jack of diamonds is fine because there's a paired board out there, and that would give Reina the full house. Uh -huh. Jack of diamonds would give Negrano the flush. So any jack. The board is already paid. Ah, bad luck. Yeah, that's not a jack. Thank you. Except for walking to Kings. Thank you. So Pepe leaves the table. Well, he plays for Liverpool, so he knows about losing. And there go all our viewers from the Mersey region. And on the outer tables, there goes Mike Tyndall, uh, dropping like flies here in Monte Carlo. Well, the blinds have moved up here, 1,600, 800, with a 200 ante. An expensive game now. A lot of tattoos there. Oh, so rather more tattoo on view than, than Madden. Oh, premium hand for Chabal. Raises to 4,600. He's a menacing presence, isn't he, around the table, Chabal? Tough as nails, that guy. I'd be afraid to bust him, honestly. And, and Negra Negrano echoes my sentiments, exactly. Alex is going to call on the big blind, though. So who is Dreyfus? Well, he's a businessman. He's a poker player. You don't have to be a celebrity to buy into this. You just have to Ace want to give the charity. That's yeah, good. So a good mixture of faces here on the television table. Well, Shabal's still ahead with his tens, but it's hard for him to know that. And it looks like Dreyfus is actually going to bet into him. He's got absolutely nothing, only king high, but going to try to represent that ace. He's not buying it. Sebastian makes the call. Well, Shabal faces tough opposition on the rugby field. He's not going to be scared by one little bet. 
<laughs> let's see the turn card, please. Nine of clubs.